My name is William Johnson. I'm Ernest Leget. And I'm Quentin Cola. And we are Group 12, and this is our submission for the final coding project for Computer Organization 1. So we begin, we have one of the board behind us, a flow chart of our code. So we begin by initializing all the values that we're going to be referencing later, uh, necessary pointers, registers we're going to be using, etc. cetera. Uh, then we generate the user-defined array for a heap sort function, which is essentially a loop that reads in the values and stores them at a given offset to the stack. Then we send the, the values via the stack to the heap sort function, which is another loop that would read it off the stack and arrange it in order from left to right of lowest to highest value. Okay. Uh, so once we get to this component, this is our user prompt uh, function. And basically from this point, we're gonna have three options that the user can, can decide to do. They can either call malloc, they can call free, or they can exit the program. If the user inputs a zero, that will direct them to uh, the malloc branch, and that will then subsequently uh, prompt the user to input a number of bytes to basically allocate for the function. So at that point, the program will check to see if the number of bytes is less than the number of bytes that are available in the current partition. Uh, just for an example, uh, if there is four bytes of free space at the end of this large memory block here, and the user requests eight, obviously there's not gonna be enough space remaining here. So at that point, uh, S-break will get called and will create a new uh, partition there. And at that point, that eight would get stored at that point. But throughout this whole process, the pointer will still have a pointer pointing to this free space here and also to the remaining free space in this partition over here. And both of those are gonna get uh, moved to the, both of those pointer values are gonna get moved to the stack so that uh, if at a later time we had the user input a value that could go there because we're, input, we're utilizing a first bit function, a first bit algorithm, this is the value that's gonna get looked to, to store the, the, to be allocated first. So after we call S break, uh, the values are actually allocated in malloc, and then we return to our, our prompt function. And then with the prompt function, um, if they were to enter a one, it would go into the free, um, and then with the free, the free actually will initialize the previously allocated space, and that previously allocated space, the, um, the, the pointers will be stored to the stack. And to, um, to give an example, we have stored all, all, all this, stored this, and this was the last space. So we still have the beginning and partners right here. So what free would do is just come and uninitialize all of this. But it would keep the pointers here and here and throw these onto the stack, knowing that this space is and then that, that next time the malloc would be called, it, it'll start to write here. Um, and if the user inputs a two, it'll just exit the program. That's the extent of our code. Um, in testing, we entered our code into Mars, um, and we encountered some errors that we were not expecting um, based on the past projects that we've done. Um, so we took our code and put the print into QT spam and encountered the same errors. So we uh, we actually loaded previous projects that we had submitted via QT spam, and the projects that had compiled successfully and were already graded were generating errors in QT spam. So we were having trouble getting any simulator to get like, some of the feedback as to our progress with this code. So that's why. Um, we don't have a completed code uh, at this time. Yeah. <laughs>